Are you ready to explore the dark and mysterious corners of the universe? Join us on an epic journey to uncover the secrets of the most enigmatic objects in the cosmos, black holes. With mind-blowing visuals and cutting-edge scientific research, our video will take you on a journey like no other. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare to be awed and amazed by the incredible power and beauty of these monstrous entities. What are black holes? A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, including light or other electromagnetic waves, has enough energy to escape its event horizon. The theory of general relativity predicts that a sufficiently compact mass can deform space-time to form a black hole. The boundary of no escape is called the event horizon. Although it has a great effect on the fate and circumstances of an object crossing it, it has no locally detectable features according to general relativity. In many ways, a black hole acts like an ideal black body, as it reflects no light. Moreover, quantum field theory and curved space-time predicts that event horizons emit Hawking radiation, with the same spectrum as a black body of a temperature inversely proportional to its mass. This temperature is of the order of billionths of a Kelvin for stellar black holes, making it essentially impossible to observe directly. First, modern solution for black hole. Objects whose gravitational fields are too strong for light to escape were first considered in the 18th century by John Michel and Pierre Simon Laplace. In 1916, Carl Schwarzschild found the first modern solution of general relativity that would characterize a black hole. David Finkelstein, in 1958, first published the interpretation of a black hole as a region of space from which nothing can escape. Black holes were long considered a mathematical curiosity. It was not until the 1960s that theoretical work showed they were a generic prediction of general relativity. The discovery of neutron stars by Jocelyn Del Burnell in 1967 sparked interest in gravitationally collapsed compact objects as a possible astrophysical reality. The first black hole, known as Cygnus X1, was identified by several researchers independently in 1971. Black holes of stellar mass form when massive stars collapse at the end of their life cycle. After a black hole has formed, it can grow by absorbing mass from its surroundings. Supermassive black holes of millions of solar masses, M, may form by absorbing other stars and merging with other black holes. There is consensus that supermassive black holes exist in the centers of most galaxies. The presence of a black hole can be inferred through its interaction with other matter and with electromagnetic radiation, such as visible light. Any matter that falls onto a black hole can form an external accretion disk heated by friction, forming quasars, some of the brightest objects in the universe. Stars passing too close to a supermassive black hole can be shredded into streamers that shine very brightly before being swallowed. If other stars are orbiting a black hole, their orbits can determine the black hole's mass and location. Such observations can be used to exclude possible alternatives, such as neutron stars. In this way, astronomers have identified numerous stellar black hole candidates in binary systems and established that the radio source known as Sagittarius A asterisk, at the core of the Milky Way galaxy, contains a supermassive black hole of about 4.3 million solar masses. History of Black Holes The idea of a body so big that even light could not escape was briefly proposed by English astronomical pioneer and clergyman John Michel in a letter published in November 1784. Michael's simplistic calculations assumed such a body might have the same density as the sun and concluded that one would form when a star's diameter exceeds the sun's by a factor of 500 and its surface escape velocity exceeds the usual speed of light. Michel referred to these bodies as dark stars. He correctly noted that such supermassive but non-radiating bodies might be detectable through their gravitational effects on nearby visible bodies. Scholars of the time were initially excited by the proposal that giant but invisible dark stars might be hiding in plain view, but enthusiasm was dampened when the wave-like nature of light became apparent in the early 19th century as if light were a wave rather than a particle, 
it was unclear what, if any, influence gravity would have on escaping light waves. Modern physics discredits Mitchell's notion of a light ray shooting directly from the surface of a supermassive star, being slowed down by the star's gravity, stopping, Types and then free-falling back to the stars. Astronomers generally divide black holes into three categories according to their mass. Stellar mass, supermassive, and intermediate mass. The mass ranges that define each group are approximate, and scientists are always reassessing where the boundary should be set. Cosmologists suspect a fourth type, primordial black holes formed during the birth of the universe, may also lurk undetected in the cosmos. Stellar when a star with more than eight times the sun's mass runs out of fuel, its core collapses, rebounds, and explodes as a supernova. What's left behind depends on the star's mass before the explosion. If it was near the threshold, it creates a city-sized, super-dense neutron star. If it had around 20 times the sun's mass or more, the star's core collapses into a stellar mass black hole. Supermassive Almost every large galaxy, including our Milky Way, has a supermassive black hole at its center. These monster objects have hundreds of thousands to billions of times the sun's mass, although some scientists place the lower boundary at tens of thousands. Intermediate Scientists are puzzled by the size gap between stellar mass and supermassive black holes. They think there should be a continuum of sizes because, over cosmic time, collisions between stellar mass black holes should have created some intermediate mass black holes. These should range from around 100 to hundreds of thousands of times the sun's mass, or tens of thousands, depending on how supermassive black holes are defined. Scientists are actively hunting for examples of these so-called missing link black holes. Numerous candidates have been identified, but have proven difficult to confirm. Primordial Scientists theorize that primordial black holes formed in the first second after the birth of the universe. At that moment, pockets of hot material may have been dense enough to form black holes, potentially with masses ranging from 100,000 times less than a paperclip to 100,000 times more than the sun's. Then as the universe quickly expanded and cooled, the conditions for forming black holes this way ended. In conclusion, the study of black holes is one of the most fascinating fields of modern astrophysics. These monstrous objects have the power to warp time and space, and their study provides us with valuable insights into the workings of the universe. The latest advancements in observational techniques and theoretical models have allowed us to make great strides in understanding these enigmatic objects, but there is still so much more to discover. Subscribe to our channel or you will miss our interesting videos.